Students at the American University of Armenia will have the exciting opportunity to study a new undergraduate degree, the Environmental and Sustainability Sciences degree. To, dis to discuss this, I'm joined by Alen Amirkhanyan, the director of AUA's Akopian Center for the Environment. So, Professor, thank you very much for your time. Thank you for inviting us. To start off, can you break down this Environmental and Sustainable Sustainability Sciences degree? Um, what does it entail exactly? And furthermore, why has AUA decided to embark on this new degree? Yeah, again, thank you very much for the invitation. Um, we are very excited about this new degree. Uh, it is really tapping into a critical moment, I think, in Armenia's development, where issues uh, around uh, environment and sustainability are becoming more topical. Uh, there is, uh, I believe there's an inflection point where people are becoming more aware and more uh, conscientious about uh, their impact and society's impact on the natural environment and also the long-term sustainability and security from an energy security, water security, food security perspective. And, and you cannot address these security issues without addressing uh, environmental sustainability and social sustainability as well. So this degree program is coming at a point where uh, it's, uh, Armenia is beginning to really embrace and tackle these issues. Uh, and uh, the degree program is designed uh, in a way so students can uh, really learn the content, and it's an undergraduate bachelor's program, so uh, students to learn the content and knowledge, uh, state-of-the-art knowledge on the matters, um, a very big component on methodology and how to approach these issues, how to identify challenges, uh, and, and how the methodology is available to address these challenges. Uh, and then finally to apply them in, pra in practicum or internship opportunities. We're also emphasizing the opportunity for students to really uh, be able to expand their horizons by um, either working in the regions uh, as part of their uh, learning experience or travel abroad to learn uh, from other cultures and other societies about how they're addressing or not addressing their challenges. So uh, the, the program is very much completed around, uh, kind of designed around these three main components, mm -hmm. content, knowledge, methodology, and, and application. And it's a four-year program. Four-year uh, bachelor's program, yeah. bachelor's of science program. Yeah, so it's focused on, it's primarily focused on sciences. Though the whole thing is very multidisciplinary because the, the underlying principle of the degree is that uh, society cannot transform and change by only scientific solutions or technological solutions. Science is a very important tool, uh, but it's critical that we also understand how societies work and how they change. So how do you apply and bring science to change society? That's the very much underpinning uh, the degree program. And as I understood, there will be a global context involved, a regional context involved, yeah. but also a domestic context. So I'm, I'm curious what sort of domestic, domestic and um, sustainability and environmental issues perhaps that students could be looking at when they study this degree. Yeah, I think we're going to approach it from many different perspectives. Students can decide what they want to focus on. Uh, but certainly water uh, is an issue in Armenia. Uh, we're in many uh, regards uh, an upstream country in the water uh, shed of the Kuraraks uh, water basin. Uh, in some places we're uh, downstream countries, some places upstream countries. That brings with it all sorts of uh, responsibilities and complications uh, that we need to be ready and have the adequate, both the knowledge of, of uh, water sector, but also the, the understanding of the political complexity of water in a region like uh, we're in. Uh, energy is another big area. Sustainable energy, energy transition is, is an, uh, you know, absolutely essential direction in which Armenia has to be very aggressively thinking. We are a landlocked country and 95% uh, of our energy, uh, primary energy and secondary energy is, is imported. So uh, this is not a very sustainable and se secure uh, setup we have. So how do we enhance the security? And that requires people understanding energy systems, understanding how society can adopt and change, um, both at the micro level as well as at the national policy level. So there's all kind of different levels of work and the degree program will help us understand the national level issues and within the con context of the region, transboundary issues, as well as globally how we fit in and how we can connect with uh, global work that's being done and bring it to Armenia and students will develop those 
collaborative and, and multicultural approaches to, to addressing issues. And what sort of employment spheres could we see these students going into after? I mean, I, as I understood, it's actually quite wide ranging. Yeah, yeah. It is a, it is a pretty a wide range of, um, you know, career paths that students have. Uh, clearly, government is one. Uh, the government sector, both the local government, regional government, as well as the national government, uh, they are in, in um, very uh, tight uh, human resource condition. They need people in this uh, in these spheres to be able to do work and and to make progress on on the challenges we have. Um, and um, then comes also the banking, the finance sector. Armenia now is developing, for instance, the green. Uh, investment taxonomy, uh, which would uh, kind of help us define what is a green investment, what is not. And once we have a system like that, in addition to a few other things that need to be in place, then we're going to uh, 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 we're in a better position to big to see big flow of funding coming in. And this requires understanding of of green investment and and um, you know uh, uh, green development in general, green economy in general, and circular economy in general. Uh, also, um, aside from the finance sector and government, I think, you know, consultancy firms, there's, a, you know, all sorts of uh, certifications and, and uh, verification systems that are in place and consulting firms need the expertise to conduct these uh, verifications that come along with transitioning to a more sustainable economy. Um, and and uh, industrial operations, from mining operations to, you know, uh, light manufacturing, there is going to be a need for understanding how to reduce the impact of these industries uh, environmentally uh, and, and create a better uh, working conditions, uh, both uh, for the people working and also conditions for people living around those uh, and within the country. Uh, and this all requires, and the degree program will give all the tools and, and, and skills to, able, to be able to identify the, the problems, which is not an easy task. I mean, one of the biggest challenges uh, is to identify what actually is the problem. So to, the skills to identify the challenges and, and the problem, where the sources of the problem and, and find ways in which realistically you can make change take place. So. And what's interesting is also the time that this degree is now becoming available because Armenia is seeing, you know, grassroots environmentalist, you know, campaigns occurring. We hear when speaking to the public here at CivilNet, you know, as a media outlet, people's concerns about the Amulsar gold mine project, about pollution in Lake Yerevan, in Lake Sevan, uh, littering, you know, it's actually very much in the public consciousness. Yeah. So, I mean, could you speak a bit on that? Have you seen that really come to the forefront in the public consciousness? Yeah, in the past uh, uh, 10 to 15 years that I've been in Armenia, I have certainly seen it used to be a much more ex exclusive, young, highly educated, uh, people who cared about environmental topics, mostly in the form of activism. That's how it manifested itself. Uh, I now see much more of a mainstreaming of environmental concerns. Uh, we're not at the same level of some of the uh, other countries, like uh, some of the European countries, but uh, but certainly there is, an, I think, as I was mentioning, there's an inflection point. I think we're, we're going towards a greater societal care and concern about these issues. Just to give you one example, we're now implementing, and this is not the degree program, but just indicates the kind of change that might be taking place. We're now, uh, we have a big project, Swedish funded project on waste management, and um, which by the way is another area that students will be very actively involved in. Uh, we are helping uh, the government, the Ministry of Territorial Administration develop uh, source separate uh, models for source separation of waste. So at the source, residents separating waste, and when you do that, the whole waste system and ability to recycle uh, really exponentially grows because what you now have is much cleaner and much more valuable, let's say, plastics or, or other packaging materials. So we're helping develop this system, and we did a survey in the city of Sevan, municipality of Sevan, and to our surprise, 90% of the people said we're ready for source separation. Uh, our researchers didn't expect that at all. The residents in Sevan aren't surprised, they, they know themselves, uh, but we were surprised. So I think we need to constantly keep track of how society is changing. I think 10 years ago you would not get that response. 
so I think, I think there's a lot of positive pressure which we need to both push and also ride. Uh, and this degree program uh, enables that to happen with young kind of uh, uh, people coming in and not only becoming activists, which, you know, there's value in activism, uh, but also uh, becoming highly informed professionals that can really make a change happen from looking at it from many different perspectives. Okay, and finally, my last question is two prongs. Uh, when will this be available? When can students start studying this degree program? They can apply now. Okay. Sorry if I jumped in no, early. They can apply now, and the program will start fall of 2023. Okay. Uh, and um, we are uh, accepting applications. Um, and uh, it isn't a science degree, so there will be some uh, thresholds of, you know, uh, uh, SAT scores and so on. Um, I think the minimum is 620 on, on SAT, but, um, you know, and, and uh, we're looking at applications com comprehensively uh, to see where students are coming from, from many different perspectives, uh, if they have experience, if they have deep interest in a topic, they have potential to learn and grow, uh, because we've all been students, we weren't all perfect from the get-go. So there's the whole educational process is how you become a better professional, a better uh, human being in some ways through the educational process. So the, the program is designed so that it will help also the students build uh, skills and, and capacities and capabilities. Okay, well, Alain Amir Khanyan, thank you very much for your time. My pleasure. And thank you for joining us on CivilNet.